We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. I'm too many faithful acolytes. We take a look at this. Our ceremonial product today comes courtesy of Roger Dams, the heat ambassador over at Burn Your Tongue, with locations all along I 15 in Utah, as well as online at www.burnyourtongueonline.com. We raise our flame to Roger in honor. Burn Your Tongue is an official temple of flame and is constantly adding new items to bring you the biggest and best selection found anywhere. So head on over for the best chili head shopping experience the world has to offer. And what this is from the Angry Goat Pepper Company, it is, yes, it is Dreams of Calypso. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. Yes, I have done Dreams of Calypso, but this one is the private reserve that was on the Hot One show. So, super hot, Caribbean style, Caribbean queen style, hot sauce. There is the very lovely Calypso, who is apparently a mermaid. I like this graphic. I like this graphic. Very cool. And... So this one is... Um, we'll get into that here in a second, but they're... they're um, Pointing a jerk chicken, egg rolls, ham, fried rice, pizza. The original sauce I put on quite a few different things. You can see I played around with this. Ooh, way more than I thought, actually. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're about halfway down on this one. Just me kind of playing around with it. Essentially, what we have here is a swap. So they have taken out the scotch bonnets from the original sauce and replaced it with the seven pots. And uh, we'll go through the rest of it here. So we got pineapple, mango, lime juice, mustard. We've got, what else, salt and garlic. Essentially what, that's essentially what it is, is, is they've just taken out one pepper and subbed in another. And for a, uh, more of a strictly Caribbean style sauce, I think the Scotch Bonnet works extremely well. It's one of my favorite peppers. I do like the Seven Pot a lot as well, though. It's, uh, it is it, it is certainly a uh, super hot that I've enjoyed quite a lot. So let's take a look at it in Ye Old Spoon as per usual. Consistency is nearly identical, though. Color, again, nearly identical. I think they use the yellow Scotch Bonnets. Here we have the yellow seven pot primos but you can get this was not an aspect of the other sauce right now i can smell the wave of super hot and super hots all have a sort of distinctive i think note that sort of tells you what you've gotten yourself a hold of and i'm getting whiffs of that right now but very nice looking sauce is sort of Orange, maybe a sunflower yellow, yellow into orange. Still probably more yellow though, maybe a golden, maybe a goldenrod sort of color. Quite nice, lovely. I like it quite a lot. All right, let's get into it. Mm. 
Wow. Certainly crunchy. <laughs> Woo, out of the gate. You get the notes of the super hot almost right away, followed by a pretty immediate heat push. Definitely this is really gonna be restricted to chili heads. I don't remember what place it was in the show. Check the written review, link to that's in the description below if you wanna see where that fell. This, uh, not a lot of, not a lot of anything actually. There's a little bit of a grayish note of mustard behind everything. Getting some notes of tropical fruit, a little bit of papaya, I think a little bit more than the pineapple. But overwhelmingly, that is a punch of super hot. And so the other sauce, I think you could get a lot more of the other flavors. It was just a bit confusing because the mustard in there was kind of throwing things off because usually I would expect like a sweet mustard or something along those lines, but it was there almost as a grace note. And it wasn't quite all the way to mustard territory. The other sauce though is a lot less punishing. This one is, the flavor contrast is definitely a lot different. Swapping out the yellow scotch bonnet for super hots like the Doreen Primo here definitely changes the complexion a lot. I, I'm hesitant to say which one I like better. To me, they're almost two different sauces. But let's try. Let's try this on some food, shall we? So, as you can see, I went to Cracked Nettles. And I got myself just a chicken sandwich. So, let's do this. It's their deluxe, their deluxe chicken sandwich. That. So let's um, here. Let's try to center it on the bun. It's just this. This sauce is uh, is pretty good on fit. Like where you'd use a Caribbean, Caribbean style sauce, pretty good. I wouldn't use it on egg rolls, but stuff like fish, very very nice. Chicken, it's pretty good. This one I'm trying to actually put in a chicken sandwich rather than the tendies. I have not tried it on wings as of this moment. That will be in the quarter 20, quarter four, 2023 wing thing. All right, we don't need the fry knives anymore. Yeah, this is definitely a very, a very punchy sauce. You know, and certainly, Angry Goat likes to play around with their sauces. Like there was four of the Hippo series, and I've done reviews on all four of those. But changing the dynamic when they put Seven Pot Primo into the red uh, with the red prickly pear in the uh, Primo Rockpotamus completely different sauce and that is kind of what the case what we have here interesting meshing here I've tried this on sub sandwiches I've tried it everywhere it's got a little bits of sweetness here it's really meshing nicely with so McDonald's buns if you get these are a little bit sweet. It's meshing nicely with that sweetness there with the uh, mayo as well. Mm. This is um, pretty good on this. Getting a bit of a roar going.
It's a good way to light up your sandwich. I think it works better here actually. As part of an ensemble than it did as a dipping sauce. I think it works really like super hots. I think need almost a somewhat of a fried food component to really more effectively use them. Like I didn't like this at all in the sub sandwich. With this fried chicken and the sweetness of this bun, this is quite good. To an extent though, I still have the same problem that I had with the other sauce and trying to figure out where to actually use it. Would I keep this around for just chicken sandwiches if it wasn't on the Hot One show? It, probably. I really want to get back to my head to head chicken sandwich battles uh, at some point in the future. Hopefully in 2024 somewhere. And this would be good to step on the ones that aren't, but because it is the hot ones, it's a hot one sauce, so I think it's probably good enough to keep in the rotation for a while, at least till it's gone. Like I will have a use for it, but other than that, yeah, I, I probably would. Just keep it around for these chicken sandwiches. I did like it on fish better. I could see this being absolutely delicious on jerk chicken. I don't come across it very often. I'll have to do some looking around. That would be pretty good. Uh, ham. Ham I have, like I said, I've tried it on a sub sandwich and actually, oddly enough, the one I got was a, was a ham sandwich, mostly. Pizza. Uh, for me, mustard and pizza are not a thing I think I would enjoy. So, I mean, maybe I'll try it at some point. Probably not, but maybe. It is uh, kind of like I said about the original. It's kind of a sauce out there in no man's land where it doesn't... I don't think it gravitates towards anything naturally. Other than some of those other things. But it is a good sauce. I do, I do like it. Do I like it better than the other one? I don't know. This one certainly is way more super hot forward. So you're not going to be getting a lot of those notes of the pineapple and the cayenne and the tropical fruits. There is somewhat of a grace note of the mustard, but it is a back end one. It is not in the front at all. It's like kind of an aftertaste more than anything else. And it's not unpleasant or anything like that. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly solid. But, I, I, yes, so yes, this is one of the better sauces from the Hot One show, certainly. But, to me, it's another one from Angry Goat that is very creative, but it's, it's almost more interesting than it is good, if that makes any kind of sense. And from the perspective of, of it being unique, it, it certainly is that. Um, the, it, it just, there's other sauces in a lot of the other normal uses I have for food that, that I prefer. And like I was saying, if it wasn't for this being on the Hot One show where I could just hang on to it and then run it out during the wing things, I, I probably would keep this, actually just try to run it out on chicken sandwiches. Maybe it might even hang around. I haven't filmed any of those Ad Dead battles as of right now. We're still in tw late 2023 as I filmed this, but I haven't filmed anything for 2024 yet in that um, series. But I would probably keep this around just to have that for that because this this is quite good with uh, with those chicken sandwiches. So definitely a, a clear ringer there. That's a great application for this. But 
outside of that, like I said, it is fun to play around with. I've I've burned over half of this now, just kind of screwing around with the saw. So it is fun in that respect. I do like seven pot primos. The big question I think this raises for me is, so do I like seven pot primos better or do I like scotch bonnets better? Well, I certainly like scotch bonnets longer. Better, oh boy, that's a question I'd have to spend some time examining on. And, and in fact, that is one of the tier lists that I think I actually want to do at some point, if I ever figure out how to do them, is to do like where the, where the various peppers sort of fall in my ranking. Not as fresh pods, just in the sauces I've had them in. So I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Hopefully, if I get a chance to do it, believe it, I will. But uh, I, I'm too stupid at the moment to figure out how to do that. So uh, I, unless some help is forthcoming, <laughs> yeah, might not be anytime soon. But uh, I do have it. I do have it, it. You know, scratch in the back of my head. So you know, knock on wood. Hopefully, one day we'll get it. But uh, that is going to do it for this time. This is the Angry Goat Dreams of Calypso Private Reserve Hot Sauce. Number four. In peace. To serve the flame.